Hey fire energies, so that's Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and of course those cross watching this world and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Um, today we're going to take a look at what will be the future here of your connections. So this is more tailored to those of you that are romantically connected with someone, even if you're just loosely involved with them or for those of you that are in a like a, you know, a relationship, a partnership or a marriage within with this individual. We want to know what the future holds for you. OK, so what will be the outcome of your relationship? What will, you know, the connection entail? What might happen in a matter of weeks, months, or even years from now? Will the two of you end up together? Where will this go? How far it go? How far will it go? We'll see just what the cards say for you. This is the general reading, therefore the messages reflected are going to be general, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I'm going to list my email address below the video here. So I'm going to give the cards a shuffle. And we'll see what they're predicting for you here. Wow, okay, these two cards straight away flew out. And I'm going to take them. The Ten of Wands and the Four of Cups. Bumping the table. <clears throat> okay. So what do we have here? I feel like the number 10 here is a message from your angels, from the spirit guides or the tarot guides here. And I feel like the message that I get for you guys um, watching and listening is that you're on the right path right now, okay? Even if the path itself is a little bit challenging here with your romantic connection, even if you feel like, you know, there's been some setbacks, there's been some obstacles, or it just hasn't been a very smooth pathway here, the um, I feel like the message here that wants to find its way to you is that you are on the right path you are with the right person keep going trust that okay trust that you know eventually there is going to be a light at the end of this rather dimly lit tunnel for you guys so i'm getting that you are on the right path and especially for a lot of you because i feel like there has been it's been a bit of a tumultuous connection for some of you it's been um it hasn't been easy, okay? Um, for a lot of you guys, you may feel as though you have been carrying the weight of this relationship, the weight of this connection. You feel as though you're the one that's been doing all the work. I do feel like there's going to be a turning point in the in the connection, in the relationship, okay? So keep going. I'm not advising for you to continue to carry the weight on your own. I do feel like there's something here that needs to be shared. Now, I don't know if it's you, if you're the one that needs to share something with your romantic partner, or if this is your romantic partner, they need to share something with you. It feels like some sort of, it should be like an exchange of energies or something um, personal, okay? Something needs to be shared here. So that the two of you can come into being and the two of you can be brought together. Because I see that there is someone here who's a little bit closed off here. So essentially opening yourselves up to one another. You're also opening up yourself to the wondrous possibilities of love here, guys. Um, this is a very powerful connection here. But I am seeing that um, there is some sort of... Either the two of you have been separated in the past or some of you are married to this individual and there's been like a uh, perhaps a separation or a divorce. You will come back together. OK, and that separation or that divorce, that's all a part of the process. It's all, you know, it's all um, a part of that path that you were destined to walk on. OK, for others of you, I feel like you're going to have maybe in, in the future, in the very near future as well. Here, I'm getting the I'm getting either. Because the number 10 here is quite significant from you. It could be as soon as 10 days, 10 weeks. It could even mark the 10th month of the calendar here. So uh, being October. But I feel like there is going to be some sort of separation here. okay? And that separation is going to make or break this connection. It's going to be really powerful. It's either going to transform the both of you. Or it's going to, um, it's going to sort of... Um, 
entail that the both of you end up going separate ways here. Okay, what do I... I also feel like there's a very... Um, I keep shaking the camera, sorry guys. I also feel like there's a very strong passion or attraction between the two of you. But I feel that some of you are only expressing yourself in, in a physical way. And I feel like this is why you guys need to... You know, you guys need to open up and be a little bit more transparent and translucent with one another because you have great chemistry. Okay, it's plausible. It's uh, it's perceptible. Sorry, you know, I can feel it in the energies. There's high levels of attraction. You guys are very physically attracted and you're drawn to another. There's sexual chemistry. There's a sexual energy here, but for some of you, you know, you're only actually expressing yourself through the physical here, you know, through physical intimacy. So some of you, I do get a sense that some of you need to be a little bit more open so that you can truly deepen your connection with one another here. Um, what else do I see? The pages is coming up, so this individual is, e is either younger than you or they. I feel like as though you're dealing with someone who's a little bit less experienced. So they may not have had a lot of successful relationships in the past or they may not have had many long-term relationships in the past. But I am seeing that this individual is open to um, growth, is open to learning and is open to growing. I'm seeing there's been some sort of um, like a painful wounded energy around this person okay so I feel like they've had their heart broken in the past here yeah? but you know what they're willing to put themselves out there again they're willing to find love with you and they're willing to explore the depths of this connection and be consumed by it so even though they've been badly hurt and look it might not even have been by a romantic partner it could have been you know the child it could have been they might have had a very difficult upbringing or a difficult childhood um, it could have been that they may have abandonment issues or they may have had really close energies to them who have hurt them, who have betrayed them, who have broken their trust. And this person may have some trust issues or they may still have some wounds which need healing and unfortunately still fester. But I feel like the two of you together can, you can really heal one another. I feel like you are both very healing energies for one another. There is a lot of opportunity for growth in the relationship, a lot of opportunity for not only getting to know each other better, but also getting to know yourself more. It's like, not only will you discover, if you fully surrender yourselves to this connection here, there is something that this person will awaken or has already awakened inside of you. So some of you, I feel like this individual um, has come along and restored your faith in love. Okay, for some of you, I feel like, you've it's like your passion for life or your zest has been dormant and then this person has come along and they've lit up a fire in you and it's amazing it's wondrous it's it's almost inexplainable to some of you okay they've done something to you and that is they've awakened you from some sort of slumber here and it's wonderful and you've done the same to them this is why i feel like there's such a fire in your energies here guys um and yet, the more you get to know each other, and if you really open yourselves up, okay, the more you discover things about one another, the more you will learn about yourself in the process, which is amazing here. Um, what do I see? I feel like this person is either... You might have different communication styles with this individual and this is where you might suffer. Like for instance, you may be someone who's really open and is just an open book and is, you know, willing to really talk about things and, or you could be the very opposite, but your person is different. So if you're really open and, you know, you're very, just, you're very out there, you could be uh, very, like you're an extrovert here. This individual is quite different. They're not as open as you are. They're more of a, you know, closed book. They can be a little bit closed off or introverted. Or for instance, um, you know, if you're someone who, you know, likes to sugarcoat things, I feel like this individual is someone who is very, <clears throat> who can be very blunt. Okay. It's not that they have cruel intentions, but they can be very open and a little too straightforward, a little too direct with their communication. This, so this is where I feel like, you'll struggle, okay, you'll, this is where the two of you will really struggle, but if you can find a way to sort of um, work together, okay, and try and work through those communication issues, I do feel like this is um, a very powerful, special connection. There's something about this connection that feels very, like, uh, it feels very, how do I say this, like fairy tale esque to me. 
It feels either the two of you will meet or have met under faded set of circumstances or for those of you that are coming back together and for some of you I do feel like there's going to be there either was like this period of separation or distance between the two of you and you'll come back together. Second time around is much better here guys. Second time around the love is stronger. You're both more ready. There's a readiness on both your energies. Um it's more intensified here. It's just, it, it works better the second time around. Um, and this is why I feel like there's something here novelesque. Either this person might propose to you in the future. They might propose to you, but they'll do it in a very romantic setting, in a very romantic way here. For some of you, I'm even getting Disney. I don't know, for those of you that are really, um, you know, you're really into your Disney characters here, your Disney animations I feel like there's something here about this person and the way they might end up proposing to you or there's some sort of really grand romantic gesture that they might do that has that sort of Disney-esque feel to it, that Disney-esque energy. Okay, that's not for some of you, but that is, that's not for all of you, it's for some of you and it's very specific as well. Um, so look, overall, a wonderful connection. I do feel like this person is... They're going to pull you out of something. So for those of you that have been in the funk or you feel like, you know, your faith in love needs restoring or you feel like you'll never love again, that's not the case. Because along will come this person and you will fall in love with this person all over again. Every day I feel like the two of you will just fall deeply and more madly in love with each other. And even, you know, for those of you that, as I've mentioned, I keep going back to the fact that this the two of you will separate for a while. It could be for It could be for a period of weeks months it could even be years because i'm seeing that the two of you will come back together and again i feel like what that separation does is it'll bring you closer together ironically the distance will bring the two of you much much closer together so there you have it guys these are your messages thank you all for watching and for listening if you're after a personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out. I'm going to list my email address below the video here. Otherwise, I will be sharing more tarot love messages with you guys um, later in the week. So stay tuned. Bye for now.